I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's project is the first in my series of my new Edwardian outfit. I used a pattern from this from Black Snail Patterns. I'm very pleased to tell you that this video is sponsored by Black Snail Patterns and if you would like to receive a 15% discount on any digital pattern you can follow the link down below or use the code pocket full of posies. I've had this pattern for a while and I'm so glad that I finally decided to get started with this Edwardian project. So without further ado let's get to it. Here we go! I use Black Snail Pattern number 1015, the Edwardian Straight Front Corset. Straight front corsets or S-bend corsets were made as a quote, healthier corset. They create that iconic round hip, low bust pigeon breast look of the Edwardian era. I will be adding a hip pad and bust enhancer to achieve this look with my Edwardian day dress project. I began with a mock-up. I used canvas that I had in my stash. After transferring the pattern markings, I pinned the pieces together. Hercules was there to offer support and get pets. To try the mock-up on, I used my awl to make holes for lacing. Okay, mock-up number one, uh, I think probably only one, is done. Now, I did not use the synthetic whalebone because I didn't want to, I don't have that much and I didn't want to cut and, and not have enough for the actual corset. So I used that sew-in boning stuff, which I'm not sure why I ha have it or when I bought it, but it was there. So I used it. Now I think the mock-up fit is pretty good. Um, just kind of do a little turn here to see it all the way around. But so I think honestly I'm just going to go with this. I think I might add just a little bit to center front because I just cut this on a fold and so I'm going to need a little bit more to uh, fold over for the uh, Hercules has my has my ties. <laughs> um, I'm going to need more to fold over for the busk in the front. I just put a put a piece of boning down the middle. And this is not boned as much as the real one will be, or as sturdy, boned as sturd sturdily, is that a word, sturdily? I'm not sure. Anyway, but just, this is just canvas, and even with the, the less sturdy boning and the, I didn't do, I didn't do two bones at each boning point. I just did one because I was lazy, but <laughs> I just wanted to really get an idea to make, to see if I needed to make any fit adjustments as far as whether it would be big enough for me because I am bigger, my measurements are bigger than the pattern. But I think I'm not going to make any, make any measure, any adjustments. I think it's, I think the fit is actually pretty good. Yay! <laughs> Door. Get a little bit closer here. Now with more sturdy boning, it is, I don't know, because the Edwardian corset doesn't come up as high, so I think, I think it's sitting where it needs to sit. bust wise. So yeah. Off we go. For the actual corset, I used pink cotton twill. Coutil was not in my budget for this project. I transferred the pattern markings and started assembly.
to the machine to sew the front and side front together. The seams are felled. I trimmed one side and folded the longer side over to cover the raw edges. I basted the felled seam before top stitching both edges of the seam. It's much like blue jeans are done. I repeated that process of felling and top stitching on all of the other seams. My next step was to pin a waste tape in, and I used twill tape. Then I pinned and sewed the back facing. I ironed the seam and ironed under the seam allowance. The facing was turned over to cover the seam and the waste tape. It will be top stitched right next to the seam line. Now to boning channels. Rather than use pink twill because I didn't have enough left, I used twill tape. One length is wide enough for two boning channels. To sew the boning channels, I first sewed down the center of the twill tape. Then I sewed very close to each edge. All right, so corset progress. I have sewn my boning channels in on one side, so I'm about to sew the second side in, the right side. And then, and then put in the busk and whatever the other half of the busk is called. I can't think of it now, but <laughs> that's next after I sew in the right side running channels. <laughs> Before I inserted the busk, I sewed on a facing to each side of center front. On the right side, I left openings for the hooks of the busk to slide through. Then my brain wasn't working and I forgot to switch to a zipper foot. Broken needle. I replaced the needle, put on the zipper foot, and continued on. For the next side of the busk, I marked and used the awl to make holes to insert the loops. Success! My next step was binding the bottom edge of the corset with white bias tape. I sewed it on with the machine. Time to insert the synthetic whalebone. I cut each piece to length and trimmed the edges.
After all the boning was in, Hercules and I pinned bias tape to the top edge of the corset. Then Lucius helped me sew the top binding on. For flossing the boning channels, I didn't have any purple embroidery floss, so I used thread. I made a mess of it. Hercules says best not to dwell on that. To decorate the corset, I added white lace. I sewed it on while watching Supernatural on the couch, so no video, and then added the grommets to the back. We are done. Put the grommets in. All that's, I hand sewed the lace on the front. All that's left is to lace and add a purple silk ribbon for general prettiness. And it's done. I did my hair and makeup and laced myself into my new corset. I could have used more grommets to get a more exaggerated look and tighter lacing, but it's very comfortable. And adding a hip pad and bust enhancer will help me get the Edwardian silhouette and still be comfortable. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It is a great pattern and I definitely recommend it. I can't wait to finish the rest of my Edwardian ensemble. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Please join me next time for my new Edwardian under things, and I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye!